In this video, I'll show you how you can analyze your games on Lee Chess. Analyzing your games is one of the best ways to improve your chess, and the tools that we have on Lee Chess makes it really easy. So let's take a look at a game. When you have completed a game on Lee Chess, you will have the opportunity to go to an analysis board. And on the analysis board, you will see all the moves in the game in the move list on the right hand side. And now you can scroll through the moves that were played in the game using your mouse wheel uh, or your arrow keys on the keyboard. You can also click a specific move to go to, to that specific position. And you have the opportunity to move the pieces. So you can add variations and you can try to analyze what would happen if we played uh, in a different way. The first tool I want to show you is the opening explorer. The opening explorer shows you what moves have been played before and how popular they are and how successful they were. So uh, if we take a look at this game and we go to this position, for instance, we see that this position has been reached only once before uh, by strong players. And in that game, uh, black played d5. However, in the game I played, my opponent played d6. So it might be interesting to try to analyze uh, the difference. The second thing I want to show you is the local chess engine. So in the top right, you can enable it and disable it by clicking this button. And you can also use the L key on your keyboard. Now this number shows you what the chess engine thinks about the current position. A positive number means that the position is good for white and a negative number means it's good for black. And a value of plus one would mean that the chess engine thinks the current position is equivalent to a position where white is ahead one pawn. And a, an evaluation of minus three would mean that the chess engine thinks the current position is equivalent to black being ahead uh, three pawns. And now, of course, with this engine on, you can scroll through the game and see the evaluation of different positions. Uh, and you can also make different moves than what was played in the game and see how, how that works, etc. The final thing I want to show you is that you can also request a computer analysis to be run on Lee Chess servers. Uh, this can take anywhere from 10 seconds to maybe over a minute and it will give you uh, an evaluation for every single move in the game. Uh, it will graph it for you and you will also get some other extra functionality that I'll show you in a second. One important thing to note here is that this computer analysis is completely free like everything else on LeeChess. As you can see I have requested the computer analysis and it has been completed. I'd say it took about 15 seconds for this game. Um, you see this graph that represents the chess engine evaluation of every single move and position in the game. If we go to this move, for instance, uh, this is where white had the biggest advantage in the game. And we can see what move was played or, and we can see what move should have been played instead and try to understand and learn uh, from why. We can also go to another uh, position here and see that king h1 was a losing move for white. And we should probably analyze that. You will also see some interesting statistics uh, from the game when you request a computer analysis. You will see how many inaccuracies, mistakes and blunders that Lee Chess thinks um, you and your opponent uh, made in the game. And you will also see the average centipawn loss. Now a centipawn is a hundredth of a pawn and the average centipawn loss represents how much material uh, you lost in every move of the game on average compared to perfect play, meaning the chess engine evaluation. Now we can try to learn from the mistakes that we made in the game and also from the mistakes that the opponent made. So if I click this learn from your mistakes button, uh, Lee Chess will take you to a position in the game where you made a mistake and you will have the opportunity to try to find the better move. So here uh, bishop takes f3 was played 
and white played queen takes f3, as you see here in the move list. But the engine thinks that was uh, not a good move, so it uh, suggests that I should try to, to play a different move. So g takes f3 seems to have been a, a better move. And we can continue this and do this for all uh, the white moves. But I can also then, uh, after I have done this for all the mistakes white did, I can do the same for black. And if it's too difficult, um, I can always view the solution. So this is also a, another useful tool to try to learn from uh, your games. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you continue to enjoy Leeches.